Today I'm going to show you how to do a variation of the traditional pineapple block that is called pineapple blossom. And this particular block was made with our pineapple trim tool that trims 6, 8, and 10 inch sizes. This is the actual block right here. As you can see, the white triangles go down through the middle of the block to create the design and when you sew four of them together you get the pineapple blossom block. Here is a cute table runner that was done with that and once again you can see here are the triangles going through, here's your center square, this is one of the blocks but look how different it looks when you set it on point. In this variation, you can still see the triangles and the squares forming an alternate pattern, but when these strips are all done with red on one side and green on the other, you get a secondary almost star pattern that forms. Now I'm going to show you how to create the block. It is very simple and the patterns will tell you the exact measurements of everything you need, but it is so simple because you're starting with a square and you're adding rectangles to opposite sides. I'm going to sew those and press away from the center square. Then I'm going to add rectangles to the opposite two sides. I'm always pressing away from the center square because then I can see exactly where these seams cross when I am sewing and adding additional pieces. I take squares and cut them in half to create the triangles that I'm going to be adding to this block. The reason I take one square and cut it in half is that means these two outside edges will be on the straight of grain and the only bias I'm dealing with is the angle that I'm sewing to the actual block. Now I'm going to show you how to trim this block with the pineapple trim tool. I'm going to place the centering square over the seam lines of the, of the square in the block and I can match up these dash lines with my seams. If you notice that black line is going to be a quarter of an inch away from the edge. So it's very simple to do. I'm going to trim that side, flip the block around, put the same square over the center to trim the opposite side so I create a diamond. I now have this unit. The triangles that I cut previously from squares, I'm now going to sew those to opposite sides of the block. Now that I've added the triangles to opposite sides of the block, I'm going to use the trim tool to trim it down. This time I'm going to go to the round two black dash square and place it on the seam lines of my center square once again and these dash white lines will go on the seams as well as that black dash line will go on the straight seams. I can trim two sides. I'm left handed so I trim the left side and the top first. I'm going to flip the block around and trim the other two sides. If you're right handed you would trim the right side and the top first and do the opposite of what I do. And see, now I have a perfect round one completed. Now, once again, I'm going to add rectangles to opposite sides and to opposite sides once again. I need to trim this down a quarter of an inch away from these points so I can add another set of white triangles. So I'm going to take this tool once again and I'm going to place it so this angle is right in the corner and see I'm a quarter of an inch away from that. I can also make sure that white line goes right down the center and I'll be good to go. I'm going to trim the opposite sides that have the white triangles on each one. I'm going to flip the block around and trim the other side. I'm making sure that this goes down through that point because that makes sure that my entire block is square. And once again, I have the diamond shape. Now I'm going to add two more white triangles. 
When I add those triangles, now I am going to trim the block down once again by using the black squares on the tool. And I'm going to use the round four square, putting it over the center square. This white line will go down through the points of every triangle so I know the entire block is square. And trim two sides once again. Rotate the block and trim the other two sides. And there is my completed pineapple blossom block. Now when I put these together, you can see that it's going to create a quarter square triangle here and I'm going to start seeing the pattern develop.